Hey everyone, welcome back, and I just recently did a video on uh, the Christmas event, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the auctions. Now, the auctions are a very good way to get you some pretty rare tanks, such as the M60, for very cheap. Now, so let's go see the auctions. So, the auctions. These are the auctions. The auction is a way to get a lot of rare tanks for much cheaper than their normal sell price. Whether that be the Tankenstein, which is a Halloween exclusive, the Defenders, which commonly come out like all together, tanks like the M60, which only come out during Christmas. But I did think this, I saw, I got a pop-off offer this year for I think $125 to get this tank. N don't buy it during the July. Uh, it's about to drop down. So in the K91, and the Gravedigger end not too long, I believe only two out, three hours from now, the next tanks will drop. So what do you, what is the point of the auction? Well, the point of the auction is you start with a tank with a high price, like I think the uh, M60 started at like 17,000. So basically the price keeps dropping down. And here's the strategy for the auction. Each of these tanks start out with 4,600. And we're almost like two days into them. People still haven't bought them because the price always keeps dropping. What this means is, people don't buy unless it's like a tank like maybe an, if they put a smasher in here, it's gonna go really fast because that's an absolute bonkers tank. But something like an IS-3 Defender, which is still a pretty solid tank, you can do well in this state vehicle, you can grab it. Like a tank, the best of these three Defenders, definitely the Defender Mark One. I personally had, I personally bought it like three or four months ago during a deal for like 14,000 gold. So. This is definitely the best price for you can get it currently. Uh, then the T28 Defender and then the IS-3 Defender. They all have auto loaders. The Defender having the Defender Mark One having a four shot auto loader, and the Defender the T28 and the IS-3 having three shots each. The Tankenstein don't don't get it unless you got it for free. I actually sold my Tankenstein for credits because I think it's like worth like one and a half million credits. I never played it. Uh, the T2065 is actually my most played tank in the game. I think at like 225 battles, and I love this vehicle. It let the price drop down. It's a pretty solid tank. Nobody appears to be buying it, but it's a pretty solid tank. It's a it's a it's a heavy medium. Now onto the T96, the 95U6. This is a fast medium. Although as you can see, it has a very large cupola, which means. You can, people, a good tier 10 player, which are all, a lot of tier 10 players are good, although some are, why are you in tier 10, what are you doing? Uh, so you got that, and they are, it is a pretty solid tank, but other tanks like the ISM do its job. They're slightly slower, but it's better. The M60, now you'll notice, it also too has a cupola. In game, that cupola is not there. It will not appear at all. It's just an M48 pattern with a spiffy paint job that's rare. Is it a good tank? Yeah, it's a pretty still, still a solid tank. Uh, but I have an M48 Patton, and I already have the Pitbull Gamflage, which I love. And why would I get that? Next, the K91. Don't, 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 don't get this tank. A lot of people are buying it. I don't know why, but <sighs> it's really not worth it. It, it, it recently, it didn't too long ago. Like maybe it'll come out again. It'll be like 15 bucks. I remember it came out with the KPZ, the MX13 prototype. And, uh, what else? Something, and something else. In this tank. And they were all 15 bucks. The wait to get this thing, uh, it's not worth it. If you really want it, if you really want a tier 9 autoloader, go play something like it. Just go play a T37 Heavy. I mean, sure, it's gonna take a grind, but it's gonna be a much better tank. Finally, the Gravedigger. With tanks like the Annihilator in the game, which you could have gotten for 10 bucks during the Halloween event this year, don't get it. If you're collecting, get it. But wait for the price drop down. People are buying this seemingly faster than a lot of other tanks, but I would not get it. And I'm gonna stand by that opinion. So this will probably be the end of the video here. You can see only three hours until this comes out. By the time I put out this video, the next wave will be out and I'll hopefully be able to review them very soon. Uh, see you guys later. Have a nice day.